in terms of targeted therapies, uh, you know, targeted therapy is a uh, big part of treatment of uh, colon cancer. As you know, anybody who's diagnosed with advanced colorectal cancers, we test uh, for uh, for for biomarkers, any mutations, aberration. That's a must uh, in any uh, patient with advanced. So, what are we looking for? Because there are potentially actionable mutations that exist in those uh, settings. So, the, what we have so far that's actionable is our uh, biomarkers uh, such as. KRAS mutation, uh, uh, um, BRAF mutations, uh, HER2 status, uh, okay, um, and obviously MMR deficient MMR status as well, because those are the patients that will predict who will respond to immunotherapy. Um, in terms of of the KRAS status, uh, in the past we know that patients with KRAS mutants do not respond to EGFR, uh, but now there are KRAS G two of C. Uh, mutations that are now druggable. There are drugs that's out there, such as sotorosib, adagrasib, that can potentially target a KRAS G12C. Um, there are uh, nice uh, drugs targeting HER2 expression. Now, currently, uh, recently, uh, tocadinib was just approved in um, combination with trastuzumab in patients who are HER2 overexpressing in colorectal cancer. So that's another biomarker that we uh, uh, test for. Another one that's well known is the BRAF mutation, right? If you have BRAF mutations, those patients tend not to benefit uh, from EGFR inhibitor, but there are drugs targeting it, such as encorafenib plus atuximab that's uh, used, uh, that, that's currently approved in second line setting. Also, there are very rare type of mutations as well as uh, such as ROS1 fusions, ALK fusions, and, and TRAC fusions, which are very less than 1%, but those are also potentially actionable mutation as well that could be done in later lines of therapy.